phonics, how we do, how we teach phonics in year one and the year one phonics screening check. Uh, so phonics is, what is phonics? Children are taught to read by breaking down words into separate sounds or what we call phonemes. Uh, there are around 40 different sounds and we teach a phonics lesson every day. Uh, a few definitions. So a phoneme is the smallest unit of sound in a word. Um, for example, k in cat, and a grapheme is the letter that represents the phoneme. Uh, a few more uh, definitions. A digraph is when there are two letters that make one sound, for example, a s and a f make the sh sound, and a trigraph is three letters, again, that makes one sound. Um, split digraphs, always a little bit tricky. Um, there are when the two letters are not adjacent to each other. Okay, so segmenting. So we teach the children, we teach children to segment as part of reading. So for him, we might go, I, mm, him. Okay, so we normally we use our we use our robot arms and we'll go I, mm, him and then we'll blend it so we'll push all of those sounds together to make him or we'll go k up and then we'll blend it to cup so we have here are some examples of our sound maps and the children use them to help write as well and as you can see we've got these split diagraphs right at the end of phase five So we have the same sound and different letters. Here are some examples here. We've got may, make, and pain. So in our phonics lesson, we've, just, we've um, done an, out, um, an overview for you. So we re revisit and review the sound that we've previously learned. Then we'll teach our new sound. We'll practice our new sound. We'll apply our new sound by writing a sentence and apply it into a sentence. And then we'll sort of assess to see whether we should move on to our next sound or revisit that sound again. So here's some examples of segmenting and we've got here our sound button. So v, a, n, van. And then this is an example of a split digraph, o, n, home. We won't, the e on the end is silent. We don't say the e on the end. Uh, so the screening check is every year one child um, in the country will do it in June. There are 40 words that the children need to read. Uh, 20 of those will be a real word and 20 will be a nonsense word. So it is just to check their blending skills. Uh, they do it with a class teacher one to one. They can take as long as they need to. Um, there's no time limit at all, but it usually sort of takes between four and 10 minutes per child. Um, the nonsense words are, are purely to check their decoding skills. So here's some examples. We have our real words here, in, at, beg, and some. And then we have our alien or nonsense words. Um, as you can see, there are always pictures of aliens. So the children can easily recognize that these are alien words. Here's an example of an alien word. So the children would go queep, queep. Uh, so the pass mark in previous years has been 32 out of 40. If they correctly meet that, meet that benchmark, they are said to have met the standards. If they don't meet that benchmark, um, they are report, the data will be reported as not met. If they don't meet the standard in year one, it, what it means is they will retake the test in phonics screening test in year two. And it will just show that they, um, it will help year two teachers to um, give them more support give them in more support reading and in, blending and in phonics. Yeah. Uh, so ways that you can um, support your children at home, um, practice reading words in everyday situations that you see around on signs and labels, reading their uh, school reading book and looking out for those digraphs. So in school, in phonics, we do a lot about what digraphs we've seen in the words. So that can be something that can be done at home as well. Um, if a phonics pack is sent home, then regularly using, there's some games in there, there's flashcards and there's some practice real words and fake words as well to, for you to use. There's also lots of um, phonics apps available and lots of phonics um, games available online. Here are some websites that we found um, that you can use at home. And that is the end of our um, meeting. Thank you very much. For